Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about installing and setting up the Canon PIXMA G3290 printer. So it's a wireless all-in-one inkjet printer featuring print scanning and copying functions. So I believe it can support page yields up to 6,000 black and white pages or 7,700 color pages, so in full color. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. So you have Wi-Fi connection. I think it's Wi-Fi 4 or 5. You have Apple AirPrint. Uh, and then there's also the Canon Print app you can use as well. And I think it's even Energy Star certified. So it's an energy conscious printer as well. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, of installing and setting that up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all I have to do is open up a web browser of your choice. Doesn't really matter which. And we're going to go ahead and just go into Google, and you want to search for the Canon Texma G3290 drivers. And one of the best search results should come up with Canon.com, Canon support for Megatank Texma G3290. Get it directly from Canon.com here. I would recommend going directly from the manufacturer, and then you would just select that. And you can read more information about the printer on this page if you choose to do so. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to scroll down a little bit underneath Downloads and expand the Software and Driver section. It should automatically be able to select and identify your operating system from the list here. So if it's a Linux-based system or Windows or Mac, it should be able to detect it. You can select the version if it's not correct on this list. And then you want to select, if you scroll down underneath Software and Driver Results, you can select other options here. I would recommend just the master setup. This just kind of helps walk through everything. So we're going to select the download option for that and just give it a moment to begin downloading. It's only about 10 megabytes, so it's not a very large file. And once you have a user account control prompt, make sure it's a verified publisher, Canon Inc., and select yes. And we're going to just close out of the web browser at this time and then select your language from the list. Select OK and then the region and give this a moment. And then we're going to select Start Setup and give that a moment as well. And it's going to see if there are any new versions of the installer before it proceeds. And then you can go ahead and agree to the Terms of Service. If you want to uncheck the optional options, you can do that. But we're going to select Next and give that a moment. And then make sure the printer is turned on at this point. So follow along with whatever prompts it's giving you on the screen. And it's trying to see if it can detect the printers manually if the printer is turned on. Some printers, you actually may need to set up the wireless settings on the printer itself. So you might want to take a look at the printer options or settings if you have the little touch screen on there. You can select what type of printer connection you want to set up, whether it's a Wi-Fi, LAN, or USB-based connection. And then you would select Next, and then follow along with the on-screen prompts here and then about continuing. And then you would just follow along with that, and you would have your printer set up pretty quickly. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.